this is the flashing method check for advanced restart button it's available as you can see i am directly booting into recovery if you don't have the advanced restart button you need to press the volume up button and power button simultaneously once you get a haptic feedback you can remove the power button finger and again you will get one more haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger to use the latest twrp recovery as you can see 362120 this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco x3 slash nfc dedicated video is already made in my channel how to flash the recovery you can check out the card section first go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it done go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the rom zip file select the before that flash always firmware even if it is included with the rom you can flash the firmware there is no problem regarding that as you can see surya global 12.5.8.0 this is the latest available firmware for poco x slash nfc once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the rom zip file in this video i'm going to show you this miui 13 gladiator os port just select that and swipe here to flash it as you can see you can see here this is the miui 13 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section here and select wipe again and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button this is the flashing method for boco xc slash nfc of this miui gladiator os based on android 12 and miui 13 again now go to home section here and select the reboot and select the system in this video i am going to explain in detail regarding this gladiator os everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till end of the video and let's begin this video one thing you will feel difficult here is to selecting the language by default it comes with some other language first you need to go into settings and select here three dot line and this is actually additional settings go to this one and select this second option and select the first option and select here english india whatever languages you need you can change that now it will be available in english lot more easier compared to previous language hey welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath fx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews this is miui 13 by xiaomi eu gladiator gladiator os 13 beta this is a ported rom from poco x3 pro and this is for poco x3 don't get confused here it will be shown as snapdragon 860 and other details compared to poco x3 slash nfc this is for x3 slash nfc for both the devices use the same method and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 8 minutes and 13 seconds you can see here the maximum is 148 and average is 138 and minimum is 122 and there is throttling going on 91 percent of its max performance and throughout the ui also there is a little bit of throttling i have noticed and you can see here the android version is 12 here if i go into all specs you can see here android version is 12 this is the android version 12 based miui 13 based custom rom for poco x3 and you can see here this is the actual miui 13 style control center you get if you drag you will get these sections and if you want to edit there is only one option performance mode everything is added here as you can see and you get this brightness panel vertical volume panel and some of these settings this is how the new control center you get if you swipe like this you will get the notifications out of it and this is the home screen you get and app drawer as you can see you can customize few of them and this is the app vault let me agree this widgets are given in the app vault as you can see it takes a little bit of time to load the rom and coming to dialer let me increase a little bit of volume also you can see here how is the volume panel you get direct video call feature is available and even the call recording feature is also available 
that's how it is both the things are available in this room and carrier aggregation support also i tested it's working fine no problem regarding that too and even the airpiece quality is also very good during the calls i never faced any problems and coming to benchmark results starting with gig bench scores here i am very much satisfied as you can see in aosp roms you will never get like this course the single score is also very good 559 and multi score is 1702 and kernel user is linux 4.14.180 puff kernel has been used that's really good the benchmark results at least in gig bench score it's good in android to benchmark also it's fine enough not great 360540 you can see here and temperature raise was just 3.7 degrees Celsius and 2 percentage of battery has been dropped. There is a little bit of throttling has been noticed in this particular ROM even while testing also. But now after everything I rebooted 3 to 4 times now it's fine but still it's not as smooth as regular MIUI ROM. But some of the features and uh, during gameplay I will be showing you the Call of Duty gameplay very soon. And those things are fine enough and, uh, regarding safety net status let me check out. It should get passed okay you need to manually pass the cts profile match or you need to use the magics model to make it pass then only you can use the payment application that will work fine if you want to use it as a daily route then only you can think of that and DRM info also you can see here level one certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem here and camera application you will get proper MIUI camera everything is working as you can see even wide angle in video mode you can record up to 4k 30 fps in wide angle also camera application is fully loaded as it is as the MIUI camera ANX camera whatever you call that's fine if you want to you can use any other gcam ports to enhance your camera experience that's not the problem here and whatsapp those things are working fine in my opinion the app opening time is taking a little bit a second compared to MIUI static i mean rom and you can see here there is a little bit of occupancy bug here as you can see it takes a little bit of time to reload everything and screen recording option is also given in settings if i go here you can see plenty of options you can record up to 2400 into 1080p resolution and uh, video quality you can choose up to 100 mbps and orientation you can choose and uh, sound source you can choose either a system sound or a mic both you cannot choose and fixed frame rate if you want individual frame rate it's up to only 30 fps show touch gesture and these are the settings you get in the screen recording option i tried it it's working fine no problem regarding that now let me move into settings actual settings and uh, wallpapers and personalization here just agree you can see here this is not as smooth as mirror and library you get obviously super wallpapers and some of the wallpapers as you can see mirror 13 wallpapers those are working fine in my opinion and icon shape you can i mean icon size you can decrease shape you can't adjust and coming to before going here i skip this lock skin settings you get sleep timer and rest to wake double tap to wake or turn off device and wake lock skin for notification power menu access wallpaper carousel keep it turned off no need to use lock screen clock format you can choose here as you can see and display charging animation after device is unlocked and animation also you can choose here four things are given large camera and pocket mode and this is the lock screen customization is available there is no always on display option here and display you can see here light theme dark theme dark theme is pitch black condition that i really like in MIUI roms color scheme i set to saturated if you want you can use these settings basic settings has been not advanced settings and refresh rate good thing is you can select either a 60 90 or 120 based upon your usage you can adjust them and battery life is also going to depend upon that font settings you can customize again this is all the customization nothing more here and sound and vibration you get all the basic things right here additional settings these are the things you can enable or disable from here Vap haptic feedback level is not given here for some reason only just you need to enable or disable and preset is given that's available in pogo x as well and profile video for incoming calls that's has been given home screen customization again here you get a MIUI launcher 
show memory status and blur app previews and some of the settings like animation speed balanced fast also is given relax also it depends upon you and minus one screen also you can choose from here notification control center here the new notification control center has been given app notification you can enable or disable and notification shade you can choose and some of the weather information you can customize them control center still you can choose old and new and switch control center side and collapse after touch you can enable or disable from here status bar options also you can customize from here and battery indicator you can adjust from here notch in individual apps also you need to turn on manually from here into password and security so you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock obviously the rom is decrypted here and let me show you the face unlock first as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using face unlock as you can see it's very quick that i really like in mua roms and even the fingerprint unlock also i'll show you as you can see it's a very quick to unlock your smartphone using both face unlock and fingerprint unlock and 33 watt charger support let's check out most of the people don't watch the video and start commenting you can see here turbo charging support is available in this room if you don't watch the video and if you directly go into comment section and if you comment that charging support is there or not i will come to know you need to watch the entire video then you can comment if i did not add, add this part of the video then you can comment i can easily answer you if it is still available in the video if you are not watched it i can't help you you need to watch the video and regarding the other settings let me go again you can see a screen time option is given here this is nothing but digital well-being it's given in screen time options and additional settings you get these kind of options here clear speaker option is working fine no problem accessibility menu is also working fine and memory extension you get up to 2 gigabits it depends upon ram variant you have and recent it selected as united kingdom you can change from here and uh, one handed mode quick ball led light gesture shortcuts you can adjust from here those things are working fine in my open coming to battery life here it's wonder if it is in balanced mode you can see here two hours of 15 minutes and screen on time of one hour it was around 80 percent or what you can watch from the beginning then you can come to know how much sot it has been given you can see here it was around 80 or 85 like that now it's working fine the battery life is really really good on this particular rom even on 120 hertz set to refresh rate still it's very good in my open special features you get sidebar here which is working fine floating windows are also working fine second space is also working fine mio lab and light mode are also working fine these are the actual settings and customization and everything working fine in this gladiator os ported from poco x3 pro for poco x3 device don't get confused because i have both the devices and some subscribers have for poco x3 pro and poco x3 also this is video for poco x3 just this rom is ported from poco x3 pro that's how it is and let me show you the call of duty game plan end of this video i already set the maximum graphic setting someone explained me in that hence i set before itself now see how it handle the gameplay in this particular rom this is the call of duty gameplay just now i kept to this battle royal game let me change this settings okay and i want to show you the graphics settings i already set that audio and graphics you can see here low and max frame rate and volume is really loud i really like that it was as loud as earlier poco x3 device very few know that earlier it had very good loudness in stereo speakers and Mio Mint version was also having the same and now this Gladiator voice is also fine and gameplay is smooth you can check out even while landing also it was fine no lag whatsoever game optimization is too good but RAM I mean the ROM optimization is fine here both together gives you very good gameplay and even the mobile internet connection and wi-fi internet connection is also very important while playing this battle royale games
you can see here. It's smooth, definitely it's not laggy like BGMI or Apex Legends. I found someone, let's check whether I get a kill or not. can't find anyone anyhow you got an idea how it handles in this particular rom the gladiator was ported from poco xc4 for x3 slash nfc both the devices you can use this rom just use the same firmware and same rom zip file and same recovery then you will never face any problem and by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video Give it a like. Finally, I got an enemy, bot or enemy, I don't know. You guys, if you know, let me know in the comment section, guys. It's really smooth. Even after a while, enemy was an attack on me. It was smooth enough. I never faced any problems. That hope you guys understood how this ROM will handle the games like Call of Duty. It's a very good ROM, just safety net status is not getting passed by default that you need to note and some of the UA lag I have noticed before, right now it's not visible, not noticeable that much but still it was there at the beginning that you need to keep in mind and basic functions are also working fine, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, as you seen it was quick enough to unlock your smartphone using that. This is the Gladiator OS POCO X3 Pro ported ROM for POCO X3. Hope you guys like the video, if you like it give it a like and thank you for watching guys, we will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling, bye bye for now.